What's going on everybody? James from the Brew Queue here. It is time to keg my summer ale. Um, it's been uh, sitting and clarifying for a little while now and uh, it's time to get it in the fermenter. So I've already got my keg, got my keg all nice and sanitized, cleaned, ready to go. Um, I ended up not actually having to dump the beer that was in here. It was a beer that I wasn't a big fan of. But there was like maybe half a pint left anyway, so somebody enjoyed it. <laughs> but anyways, um, Kyle Hub from Brewing America sent me a pretty cool hydrometer. Um, it not only tells you the hydrometer reading, it also tells you the temperature of your wort or your finished beer. So I want to show you that right quick. Here is his newest concoction. Um, check it out, man. It's got uh, temperature reading here, and then also off to the right, it's got the correction for if that temperature is not within the ideal calibrated spot. And um, yeah, man, this is a very nice hydrometer. And also, as always, they supply a nice um, glass cylinder here. Tube, test tube, cylinder, graduated cylinder, whatever you want to call it. It's not really graduated because there's no measurements. But anyways, really nice and it's got the, uh, in case it falls over, protector. My daughter's even excited about it. <laughs> and uh, also, it comes with a nice wipey keep it clean fingerprint free anyways it comes with a scrub brush for cleaning it and uh, yeah and then it comes with actually some more parts uh, charts here it, it, that's already on the hydrometer but if you need to look at this you can pretty awesome man and uh, a thank you special offer uh, code and then a business card he, he gave me a business card as well so I think that's really cool man thanks Kyle for sending that to me um, also he did mention that the dividers in here aren't the ones that will be um, in the newer packs they will actually have a better dividing system so if that's a concern to anybody which wasn't really a concern to me I mean everything fits in there pretty well like so you know but yeah, man, this is awesome. Um, so yeah, if you, I'll put a link down below for this. Uh, this is a really nice hydrometer kit, especially if you are one of those people that likes to collect nice beer accessories and brewing accessories and you want a real nice kit. Uh, that's the way to go, man. So let's take a look at the beer. This is the summer ale. It's really cold right now, actually. I still have the uh, brew jacket on it. And look at all that yeast. I did actually change out jars and man, just a lot of yeast. <laughs> I'm not really worried about it because when I keg, I'm gonna use this port. So no problems there. So um, let's get this beer in the keg. And uh, also I'm gonna take a sample of the finished product and take a hydrometer reading with Kyle's kit. Might as well, right? So I'll get back to you in a minute once we're transferring. Let's drop the hydrometer in. Give it a little spin to knock any bubbles off, I always do. And uh, it's a cloudy sample because I had some yeast down in the bottom, which I usually don't care about anyways because the uh, keg clears it up. But I can't really read and it's more my fault. But I would say if we look at the top here, right about the 1.010 mark um 
and temperature wise let's see i'm at the 1.0 window and let's see let's see if we can get a temperature reading here mm, it's about 66 degrees i really don't need to correct this really maybe by 0.005 or 0.005 but I mean, it's pretty good, man, on the temperature. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's reading 66 degrees. So not much correction needed on that. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this into the keg now that we've taken our sample. Um, thank you, Kyle, once again, for sending me that. That's a really cool tool. It's awesome not to have to put a thermometer in there with your hydrometer when you're taking readings. I know some people get fancy and use digital accessories for doing that kind of stuff, but uh, I'm still kind of old school. I still use a hydrometer. So anyways, let's get that beer transferred. All right, guys, we are transferring the beer into the fermenter. Down she goes, nice light yellow color. And it's just going down, down, down. Um, I left the catalyst in here, or not the catalyst, I left the brew jacket in, and I'll take it out after this thing's empty. I just didn't want to disturb anything, as little as possible, really. And uh, so now it's going down. So uh, I'm really interested in trying this beer because uh, those paradise seeds that I put in there, uh, I'm really curious to see what they do to the flavor. Uh, I'll carbonate it over three days and then uh, I'll be sending some of it out to a couple of people. You know who you are and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, but right now I'm just getting it in the keg, carbonating it and uh, thank you Kyle once again for sending me that kit. Awesome and uh, we'll see you guys here soon.